Yesterday, a fantastic time. We headed out to D'Andrea Banquets here in Crystal Lake. And I will tell you what, I've heard about Operation Click. I know that Stu Cohn, our news director, has covered it for quite some time. But I didn't know the depth of the program, the scope of this program, Operation Click. And if you don't have teens in local high schools, here's some of the stats. They started Operation Click to raise awareness for kids to wear their seatbelt. It does, of course, include now distracted driving as Officer Sean McGrath from the Crystal Lake Police Force told us yesterday, he is the president of Operation Click. And I didn't know how involved this was. It started with three schools in 1998. It's now up to 47 schools. So it was at the banquet hall, packed with kids who all had a chance to win a brand new car from dealerships in there. It's really cool. And honestly, it was so great to see all the kids and how attentive they were and how excited they were and how proud they it were it was a of themselves. Effort. Yeah, absolutely. So it's all about compliance for seatbelts and what they do is they'll, of course, take surveys, but then sometimes they'll actually go to schools and they'll do checks to make sure kids are wearing. And I have to say that seatbelt compliance when they started, was at 65%. Imagine that statistic in this day and age. Seatbelt compliance at 65% after Operation Click, 96%. Like, how awesome is that? So all I have to say about Operation Click is well done, Mm -hmm. and I'm really proud of the work that they do. And Officer McGrath, he's such a nice guy. He's always a funny guy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that he was... So in charge of this thing. I was like, I thought you were a circus clown on the weekend or That's something. That's what I'm saying, I'm too. Kidding. Tina, don't say that. <laughs> I know he's listening right now. But and I, I'm being totally, I'm being real serious right now. Really proud of the work they're doing. I want to get more involved with them. They had people speaking yesterday. A lot of familiar names were popping up in the community to help get those cars. Aside from the dealerships, uh, Black Diamond Plumbing and Mechanical, Buffalo Wild Wings, our partners there were yes, part of that. Yes, we saw Vicky. Yeah, names, very nice. A lot of familiar names. But also, the AAA of Chicago was part of the programming there. And I have to say, AAA Chicago is a a huge part of this Operation Click. And I know that Sean and the rest of the board, they really appreciate the efforts there. Charlene Sliding was there, and they had a couple other people uh, as well. Black Diamond has given nine cars over the years. And basically, sometimes the they are short a car somewhere, and Black Diamond steps up, which is just Which light. they always do. But they also had... And stick with me on this because I was really I was really touched by the ceremony that they did for Operation Click. And, you know, I've tweeted out at them. Their website is available because if your school is not part of it, I mean, I can't imagine a school that's not part of it in the area already. But their website's OperationClick.com. And if your school is not part of it, they even have an app that you can get. It's really cool. You can win a car. Kids can win a car. But the one thing is they had Kyle Cruz from Harvard. He's a driver's ed teacher there, speak. And his father, Robert Cruz, and I remember hearing about this. His father, Robert Cruz, uh, is a very loved teacher from the area. He was in a car crash. Something medical happened, and his car hit a tree in Bull Valley going 80 miles per hour. So for me, someone who hit a tree over this winter and broke two ribs and Mm -hmm. the amount of pain I was in and how... I mean, I remember, I thought it broke my back or something. It was that painful. And I hit a tree going, whatever, 15, 20 miles an hour. So this guy's dad, Kyle, his dad was supposed to be somewhere to pick up his kids, baby and stuff Mm -hmm. for the first day. His grandkids, yep. His grandkids didn't show up, got into a car crash, hit a tree going 80, car flipped over. This thing was so destroyed, he broke his sternum, he had broken ribs, he broke his jaw. I mean... Bad shape, pulled through like a champ. Yes. And I, I ran into Kyle afterward from Harvard High School, and, and I asked him how his dad was doing. He's like, great. And, you know, he has that time with his dad. Mm-hmm. And he, it was a very uh, poignant speech, and it, it really was touching. And that's what's going to make a difference for these kids. And it was for me to hear, and he pointed out about his dad's accident. He said, do you notice the airbag didn't go off? My airbag didn't go off. Right. So having the seatbelt on is what it saved, saved your butt, you. dude. Yes. Have your seatbelt. I just don't know how no one... I mean, you talk about when Operation Click started, seatbelt compliance, 65%. Now it's 96%. That's just amazing. It is. It's mm-hmm. a tribute to them. So I'm re- I am was really blown away by them yesterday. I went up to Officer McGrath uh, 
right afterward, I said, we got to get more involved with this. I want to be more a part of this program mm-hmm. because it's something special. They got great people there, and it's right here in our community. Started in 1998 with three schools, and now it's at 47 schools. That's just downright awesome. Star 105.5 McHenry County Traffic.